All right, hello, fellow coders. Let's get going with this next one uh, where I promised I would take you through uh, Slack and how to integrate with it. Now, uh, upon reflecting and what uh, on what I should do, um, I wanted to create, uh, I want to actually show you how to do all this stuff, uh, if at all possible. So my plan is to create a brand new workspace in Slack. Um, so if you have Slack and you need to integrate with Slack, uh, you probably already have access to your own works work space. Um, so I'm going to, I'm off screen right now, my screen above, that's why I'm looking up. Um, I'm going to go in Slack, there's a little plus button to create uh, a new workspace. Um, and there you go. So I clicked on the button to create a new workspace and it's asking me for my uh, email address. Um, <clears throat> now, let me think, what email address could I use that I for sure have not associated with any Slack accounts? Um, let me think. Maybe we do team at coderscampus.com. I don't believe I've used that before. And then it's going to send a code. So let me hit pause. I'll go get the code and type this in here. Oh, okay, I've got the code. Uh, 787585. That wasn't valid. 787585. Is that not what I typed in the first time? Okay, I must have made a mistake there. Okay, so what's the name of your company or team? We're just going to call this um, example Slack integration or something like that. Um, I'm not going to let everyone else join. I just want to, you know, whatever, do it. So, uh, yeah, team is the name of my guy. Sure, why not? Um, I don't need to uh, invite anyone else. I'm going to skip the step. Um, what's your team working on right now? Who cares? Uh, <laughs> example app. Oh, I see. It's creating a channel. Cool. So there. Now we have a, this uh, sort of example uh, Slack workspace uh, from which to work. Now, here's the trick. Here's what I did ages ago. Um, I went to our good old friend ChatGPT, and I said, I'm building a Java application that I would like to have integrated with Slack. I want to create a Slack bot that will... Uh, be able to post messages into, you know, channels, into my Slack channels, um, you know, when certain Java code is executed. Um, what are the steps I need to follow to create this? And please... Uh, include any and all Java code uh, in your answer. Because I think last time I did this, it didn't, it just gave me the steps. It didn't actually show me the code. Um, oh, what is this? Which response do you prefer? Your choice will help it make better. Wow, I've never seen this before. Um, neat. Uh, so create a Slack app, go here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so it's looking like the first one is a little better because it has, I don't know, man, I'm just going to click on the first one. So let's see, go to uh, uh, your apps on Slack, navigate to blah and sign in with your Slack credentials. Okay, so let's navigate to this uh, website address, um, goes to the apps. Now I already have an app created for a different workspace, but uh, hopefully it knows that I'm signed into my new workspace that we just created. So I'll say create new app and we'll see if we can, you know, create it uh, with that, you know, integrate it with that new workspace. So create new app, click create new app, choose from scratch. Look at that, right? From scratch. Very nice. And then what does it say? Uh, give it a name and select the workspace. There you go, where you want it installed. Okay. Now is my workspace in here, the new one? Yeah. Example Slack integration is the one that we just created. Um, and the app name, this could just be the, you know, uh, course report bot. It doesn't matter what the, net, the app name is, but uh, hey, let's just do that and say create. Cool, cool, cool. Now what does it tell us to do? Add features and functionality. Go to features, OAuth permissions. Okay. Features, OAuth and permissions. Isn't this nice? I love this. Just tell me exactly what to do. Under scopes, add the necessary bot token scopes. Under scopes. Look at that. Bot token scopes. Okay. Add OAuth scope. Uh, you need to uh, add... Uh, chat right. So basically what this is doing is giving uh, this bot that I'm about to create um, will have the permission to uh, essentially post messages into a Slack channel. So I'm going to add an OAuth, uh, um, uh, what you call it, scope, 
and so you can see there's calls right, calls read, bookmarks. If you want to, you know, work with bookmarks, you can do that. Uh, if you want to be able to look at messages and history and public channels and blah blah blah. So, but really, we probably just want chat right because it sounds like um, that's what we want to do. So where's chat right? Send messages as the bot. Exactly. That's what we want to do. So we'll add that one. And let's see. Is there any other permissions that we need here? Let's just scroll through. View messages. I don't think we'll need to do that. Join public channels. Um, I mean, yes. But I think you can also do that from with, like, this is, if you want to do it programmatically inside of uh, your code, you can do that. We could probably just add it in in the Slack uh, UI itself. Um, set the description. Send messages as bot with customized username and avatar. Uh, I don't really care that much about that. Um, conversations allow it to manage. No, I don't care. So anyway, you can you'd be able to to, to scroll through here and say, uh, do any of these sound like permissions that I need to add? Um, but what, I believe what's important is you need to add them all now because you can't add them later. If you add them later, you need to have a whole new bot, I think. Um, anyway, so install app to workspace. Navigate to settings. Install app and blah blah blah. Okay, so uh, I think we probably need to save it, don't we? Or is it already saved? Oh, maybe it's already saved. Scopes are added. Okay. Basic information. Let's go to here. Yeah, install your app. So let's install it to the workspace. Um, yeah, the course report bot is requesting permission to go into this example Slack integration Slack workspace. Do you want to do that? Yes, of course. That's fine by me. Bada bing, bada boom. Success. Fantastic. Um, and I see now in my Slack, if I bring my Slack down here, uh, this is my Slack app, uh, I see that the course report bot is now here in apps, right? Uh, so, great. And I think you also need to add it to the channel. Um, let's see, if I right click on him, uh, or, hmm, if I go to, let's say, example app and say add, so click here to add a member, can I add the course report bot? No. Integrations, add an app, course report bot, boop, there you go. So you see course report bot join the channel. That was a source of major pain and frustration for me um, when I did this the first time around off camera like months ago. I created a bot <coughs> and I didn't realize that you had to add them to the channel in order for them to post messages, which now when I think back, that kind of makes sense. If anyone wants to be able to post a message in a channel, they need to be invited into the channel first. But I, I, it was, you know, this is an app, not a person. So anyway, uh, it might even say that in here somewhere. Uh, it says install the app, <coughs> authorize whatever this step generates the bot OAuth token that you'll need to use. And here you go. So here's the actual code that we need to use to, um, uh, be able to post messages as the bot. Let me see if we can, uh, is there an easy way to test this out? So let me just copy, let me copy the code and I'm going to create a Slack bot class. Where would I put this guy? I guess it's kind of like a service. This is technically a Slack bot service, but they only called it Slack bot. So I'm just going to do this for now and paste this in. Um, I'm going to get rid of the public static void main because we don't need that in here. Um, but I do want to, uh, okay, we also need to do a few things here. Uh, but I do want to be able to call this um, from outside of uh, this class, like uh, maybe maybe a unit test. Would I write a unit test to do this? Possibly. Yeah, maybe we can write a unit test so we can run it and, uh, and it'll easily post a message. So if I go into my unit tests here, um, these are application tests. Uh, I don't need an application test. I want a unit test, which means I don't want to boot up the whole uh, spring context and everything. I'll just say create a new Java class. We'll call this the Slack bot test. And I'm going to say at test annotation, which comes from JUnit Jupyter. Public void, you know, post, you know, Slack post message test. Okay, and then basically we'll have the private Slack bot as our SUT, which is our system under test. And I'm just gonna say equals new Slack bot here. Um, and then inside the, the test, I'm gonna say SUT dot, and then I'm going to call the method 
uh, in here. So this is public static void. Oh, so it doesn't even, it makes it static. Interesting. So you don't even have to instantiate it as a, uh... hmm. Okay. So we don't even need to make it a service. We could just have a static reference. So we don't even need to say public, whatever, we or private, whatever. We can just say uh, slack bot dot post message. And I can say test message, right? This won't work. I'm going to run this and it's going to fail uh, because we're missing some credentials. But I just want to see how it fails, if it fails with a nice error message or not. Um, so it's running. It says 200. Hey. See, that's what I don't like. It. This is what it was happening before. It was saying 200, but it should not have been a 200 because the token is wrong. The channel ID is wrong. Like how... To me, it should have, it should have failed, right? So the response code it gave was 200, and that does not make any sense to me, because the channel ID and the token is incorrect. So that's, I believe, on Slack. But anyway, um, that's Slack's fault, is what I mean. But if we go down, we can see, okay, here's the client ID and the client secret, um, and uh, so the client uh, secret is that the token? I don't think that's the token. Verification token. This, that's a deprecated token. You'll need this to. S to send this secret, blah, 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 when making your V2 access request. Um, permissions, install your app, manage distribution. Let's show this secret. Yeah, this doesn't look like what I need. App ID, client ID, client secret. We need the bot. So this is the this is for the app, right? So we have an app and we have a bot, right? So we want the bot info. So if we go to OAuth and permissions, is that where the... Yeah, here it is. Bot, user, OAuth token. This is what we want. So let's copy this guy. And as you can see, it gave you a little hint, right? XOXB. That's how this one looks. XOXB. So let's paste that in here. And just so you know, I'm, I'm showing you these tokens and secrets and all this stuff because I'm just going to delete this workspace. So this is going to be, you know, if you try to copy this code exactly, it's going to do nothing because um, this one is not going to exist anymore. Uh, I'm just doing this so that you have an idea of how you would do it. Now, the channel is called example app is that's where I added my the Slack bot to. So I'll put example app in here um, and save it. And now we might be in a situation where this could potentially work. So let's run this again, and we'll go to the Slack channel uh, and wait for it to run. Boom! Course report bot test message. So there you go. It uh, it's kind of the text is small. I don't know if I can zoom in. I can't. Um, but as you can see, it worked. Test message, right? And we can say test message two, and run this again. And then you'll see in here it'll say test message two. There you go. So that's how we can actually post. Uh, to this channel. Now there's more things that we can tweak to make it nice like the it doesn't have an avatar uh, uh, What you call it image here and there, so there's some tweaks that we can make and that can all be done inside of here um, I believe the bot uh, There's somewhere in here where you can configure I don't remember where it is where you can configure the bot and the image that it uses and everything or maybe it's in here maybe we can click on this and say uh, uh, th there's somewhere I forget where now, but anyway, it, it's a it's a Google search away to figure out how uh, to uh, change the um, the image and everything like that. So I won't go into those details, but uh, there you go. That's how you do a Slack integration um, in about 15 minutes, um, and you have it posting messages. So pretty quick, pretty nice.